Tonight, 12 News going one-on-one -on -one with Arizona's 22nd Governor Jan Brewer. Brewer, also the fourth woman to hold the office. Earlier today, Brewer sat down with Team 12's Tram Mai to talk about the state of politics, the elections in our country and Arizona. Guys, Jan Brewer has always been open and candid when she was governor from 2009 to 2015, and she still is. She didn't hold back during my one-on-one -on -one interview. What struck me the most was her mixed feelings about both women who ran for governor. Can I ask who you voted for? <laughs> I'm a Republican. <laughs> Even though you did not agree with how Carrie Lake's message and campaign was, you still voted for her. I did. Hmm. Why is that? Well, I, you know, give her a chance, I guess. You know, I was very disappointed in her, her uh, rhetoric, um, but I thought if she did win, possibly we could have some dialogue and uh, people would tone it down. You know, she because she has no political background. Katie Hobbs has a history. She knows how the legislature works. She can read a bill. She knows about appropriations. She knows the issues and she knows the departments. You know, so she So are you hopeful that she will make a good leader? Absolutely. Arizona? Absolutely. Uh, you know, she is going to be our governor. She's going to get sworn in and uh, you know, and I want her to be successful because I want Arizona to be successful. She's elected and now we need to get behind her and hope that she does the right thing. What advice would you give her? Oh, as far as being governor, first of all, it's totally different than serving as Secretary of State, totally. I think one of the most important things that she's got to know is that she's got to surround herself with uh, real policy people, people that can uh, give her all the information she needs and, and, and be able to condense it. But more than that, she's going to have to be able to tell her staff that she's going to have to have some free time. So I would tell her from the get-go, you have to have time to yourself or you're just totally running on empty fumes. What was the best advice that you ever got? That I was affecting so many people's lives and that I needed to know that it wasn't just about me, it was about the people of Arizona and I tried to do that every day. It wasn't party related, it was about the people of Arizona and what is it that they need and what, and what can I do to make a difference. What does this past election tell you about Arizona voters? Well, I think that it tells us that Arizona voters are not as far right or are they as far left as it one would suspect and that basically people are just looking for good, great leadership. And I know now, that we all know that, you know, there's more independents than Republicans, so that's the bulk of the population. And so people want to be more moderated. They don't want the extremes on either side. And it did seem as though Carrie Lake went more to the extreme demo. She has not conceded yet. In fact, she wants to file a lawsuit. What would you say to her? What do you make of that? I don't understand why you're doing it. I, I mean, I, why are you doing it, Carrie? I mean, it's, you know, it's going to be certified. It's going to, it's over. The votes have been counted. I mean, there's no turning back. So do you think she should concede or should oh, have I done do it I a while know. ago? Absolutely, I do. Absolutely. Finally, you know, we talked about this. The Republican Party obviously so divided this past election. What kind of Republican leader do we need? I think we need a Republican leader that will step up and t talk to all Republicans because Republicans aren't like little sheep. We just don't follow one after the other. We have independent thinkers. We think of things differently than uh, uh, one little person. We, we Everybody has a point of view and we're vocal and we spread the word and you need a leader that can bring that all together and respect everybody and have that opportunity to get everybody on that level and I hope that that's what happens in Arizona. That is really, really important. And you're hopeful that there is a good leader out there still for your party? I, uh, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Does it make you want to run again? No, <laughs> no, no, no.